Whoa, what is this? It's clearly the new all-terrain vehicle that we require. Huh? Hop in. All right. On the table, it is all about Nickelodeon, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtle Tank 2-in-1 Mobile Ops Unit. Wow, say that turtle time's fast. Yes, it does look fast, Barry. This thing boasts 10 features, 2-in-1 villain busting turtle tank, and warning choking hazard. On the back of the box, the turtle tank in all its glory. I love how these vehicles usually fit all four main turtles fairly well somewhere in the vehicle. Should be a good ride to go on. Turtle Tank 2-in-1 Mobile Ops Unit. Vroom! Donnie has rolled out his latest invention, the road-hugging villain bustin' Turtle Tank. Now the turtles are steamrolling mutant baddies all across New York City and the hidden realms below. And that's what we're talking about. So yeah, things to do, Donnie's Removable Lab, Dual Projectile Launchers, Flip Open Front Cab Attack, 2-in-1 Villain Busting Turtle Tank. I love how they place figure handles all over these things now. Really helps play up the vehicle. Also, don't forget, connect and launch Shell Hog Cycles for an ultimate vehicle experience. Well, Squirrel, let's crack this shell and see what's inside. Outside of the box with the turtle tank looks like there's not too much to place together. This must be a collection guide here, a few stickers to work with, and instructions to operate. Where to start with all these instructions? I suppose let's place on those mirrors. You have to have mirrors when driving about. Then we have these little exhaust ports to add on to. Well, I got one on, but the other one just seems to not get stuck, keeps popping out. We'll have to work on it a little bit later, not too critical. Now all we have to do is add on a few stickers. I'm really surprised how well this is already decorated without, so that's a good thing. I think I'll place a few here and there and call it good. Installed are pretty much every sticker except for this yellow triangle thing that fits over here next to the bars. I'm going to elect not to install that, not because of where the bars are, but just because of this curved door feature right there. And there's also some door grooves going on. Stickers like that usually may come off, and I don't think it's that necessary. Last thing it looks like we can do is load in some projectiles and add a few turtles. The first spot to add our turtles would be the opening cab feature. Let's open up and discover a comfortable world of driving. The biggest question is, will the biggest figure be able to drive? Raph being almost one and a half times the size of the other turtles, we're able to drop him down pretty well and even get those hands on the steering wheel. And who shall Raph be driving with? I think it's gonna be Leo today. Leo should be a lot easier to fit in. One of the nice things of these new turtles is that they seem to be able to move and sit a little bit easier than previous series. And to then close up the cab. <laughs> that first round must have hurt. Good, I always like a toy vehicle when there are two spots for driver and shotgun. So now let's move on to that giant shell in the back. Apparently this is also a taxi. The front hatch of Donnie's lab opens to reveal a workstation. Which ironically feels like the back half. I guess it just depends on which way the shell is facing. Strange, no stickers were included for the workstation back here. We've got blank panels for Donnie to work with. It's almost like they forgot them. Very odd. The only screen installed was up in the front cab and I installed that kind of crooked. Also not really the best workstation either. Donnie could just kind of sit there. Feels more like a great spot to store weapons. And I think that's what I will be using it for. Now on the sides of the shell we have projectile launchers. 
Insert the projectiles into the launchers and press the purple launchers. They look like bowling balls. And always important, do not fire at people, animals, or at eyes or face. Do not use any projectiles other than those provided with this toy. Whoa, that was a good 10 feet. We have projectiles on both sides. Oh, that one almost shot me, which I wasn't supposed to do. Well, let's open the top hatch of Donnie's lab and place him inside. He's just the right height to kind of peek out. But maybe a little too tall for that bar to come down. Hunch him in a little bit. And I think we're getting closer. Very good looking solid attack vehicle overall. Six wheels of roll. And the wheels seem to have a nice transparent purple look to them. I like the TMNT power license plate on the front, New York, and on the back with turtle power. Do you think they really registered this at the New York DMV? Probably knowing this show. So now we have to do some transformation to vehicle to playset. Kind of a common thing with Playmates Toys vehicles right now, similar to the Ben 10 rust bucket. What we're going to do is Donnie's lab rises and is removable. So let's rise it up first. Wow, we just cleared that. There we go, there's some clicking involved. And Donnie now has a very tall tower to work with. That's much higher than I thought it would be. Almost two and a half vehicles stacked up high. This also gives you the ability to load up the back. We have a loading ramp. And now we can place other turtles inside the bay to hang out, eat pizza, and defend the streets of New York City. Of course, it could be a little dangerous back there once the assembly re crushifies itself. But for now, works well. Looks like Donnie's lab is also removable. Let's see if we can pop that out. And there we go. I kind of like that option. Sort of like a mobile command center to deploy in the city of the streets. And now let's bring back down the structure inside the main van. The purple frame assembly folding back into itself. Kind of a bummer, I almost feel like they could have used this as some sort of catapult weapon too. But I guess it's just a giant lever way of raising Donnie's lab. Closing up the back door. You can now use this as an open truck and just throw all sorts of figures in. Or of course, replace Donnie's lab. And there's bars all over for other turtles to grab onto. Although I'm finding some of these grips on the new turtles aren't always the best. Especially Leo and Mikey, those hands don't grab well. So you might be asking, what are these things on the side of the vehicle that look like they're going to project something? Well, that's where you're going to connect and launch the Shell Hawk Cycles from. And luckily today, we have one to look at. Sold separately, this is the Nickelodeon Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shellhog with Michelangelo, who is an exclusive figure to this set. So far looking like Mikey with a helmet, this vehicle boasts a villain bustin' weapon launcher, kind of resembles a bat pod from Batman. On the back of the box, an image of this Shellhog with Michelangelo, which looks to be able to adjust up and down. There is also available a Shellhog with Leonardo, I elected just to go with Michelangelo today. I wanted to see how well Mikey worked with the turtle tank before deciding on Leonardo's, but it looks like you can connect these two cycles together to form their own car-like vehicle. And of course, Playmates activates the all-important back-of-box bio. The turtles are revving up on all their new Shellhog motorcycles for some shell kick in action all across New York City and the hidden realms below. Mutants beware. Looks like a pretty fun vehicle option if you do not want to go all the way to the turtle tank. Let's open and remove. And outside of the box with Mikey's Shell Hog, I really like how bright and some of the transparency features on the wheels of these matches very well with Rise. 
And it looks like Mikey has decorated up his bike a little bit too. Very artistic and rad. We need to piece together a few things first. Let's add on the weapon launcher. Hopefully it adds a little bit stability to this. This bracket you'll want to hold on to for combining the shell hogs together. Don't lose it. Reuse it. So the projectile is inserted. Let's give it a quick launch test. Doesn't fire as far as the projectiles in Donnie's mobile lab, but this is Mikey's weapon. Kind of wish we had a few extra projectiles we could just snap on next to it. I don't know why it's always just one. So the vehicle can adjust to higher low mode. Pull up center while holding wheels. More simple than it looks, I thought we'd go a little bit taller, but it's a really nice little feature to add on to. I especially think now with adding Leonardo's shell hog, it would look pretty neat. And I suppose... You could leave the back wheel down for Mikey to raise up a little bit, or reverse. Lower the front wheel, raise the back wheel up for faster action. A variety of ways to go with this one. As for the exclusive Mikey, Pretty similar to the Mikey we've seen from the basic collection, only instead we see some black armbands on his wrists and feet, his torso belt is in black, and he is wearing the all-important cycle helmet. Now I did open that box slightly fast, but I do not see an accessory for Mikey with this set. You gotta give the guy at least one weapon, especially because he still has that attachment point on his torso belt. So kind of a bummer there. But if you're looking for saving some money on Mikey and Leo and just picking up the bikes, perhaps Donnie and Raph will let them borrow one of their weapons. <laughs> did he say borrow one of my weapons? <laughs> yeah, Raph, I kind of did. Well, anyhow, last thing to say about this bike is the figures are able to sit down fairly easy on the bike and it almost looks like we have a second spot for another figure. But I sure would have liked to have seen better grip on Michelangelo. His hands are really falling off those handlebars too easily. Here's hoping if they ever get to a second wave of regular turtles, they'll give them better grip. Well, let's get back to the turtle tank and see if we can attach this thing. And the turtle van back on the table. Mikey's shell hog will launch from the left side launcher. I don't really see instructions on the box, but I think what we're going to do is simply roll back Mikey's bike into the port on the launcher. Looks like to line up with the height of the turtle tank, you're going to want to lift Mikey's bike up one click of each wheel. Then we can slide her in. It feels like already there's quite a bit of spring force on that side launcher. Looks really cool though. I'm starting to regret not picking up Leo yet. Such a fun way to enhance a vehicle. I always like it when they think long term and what you can do in adding things on, especially if they work fine on their own and then combine them together to make them even better. While giving Mikey a launch, there's a red button on this thing. And we'll want to do this as most painful as possible for poor Mikey, so let's add in a few Minecraft blocks. You have to place lava on the bottom. Alright, that looks like a good wall to drive on into. Let's give this a go. Are you ready, Mikey? One, two, three. Wow, the new Mikey is smarter than the old. He managed to not only launch off to the side, hitting only one block, but when he bumped into the end of the table, he flipped it into reverse and got a perfect shot of himself. Let's give that another go. He's sure to hit this time. Alright, Mikey. One, two, three. Ah, uh, that's more like it. Right off the table. Ooh, glad he's wearing that helmet. Ugh, cowabunga. So I noticed the launcher doesn't launch exactly straight off, it will veer off into an angle, which is probably a good thing so it doesn't run into the turtle tank. With those large wheels though, even on a very slick surface as my table, probably only rolls out about 5 feet or so. Maybe a little bit less. It is a great feature though in combining vehicles. Maybe one more time. Are you sure about that? And here we go, one, two, three. I think Mikey's pretty much done with that demonstration. 
Raph, a quick trip to the emergency room, please. And there we go with the new Rise Ninja Turtles Turtle Tank and Shell Hog. I think these turned out to be great vehicle accessories for Rise. Good driving and just enough gadgets for great play value. I would say the only thing missing is I believe the turtle tank throws out more bowling balls I've seen in the show, and there's not really any bowling balls other than these little details up here and here and over in the back. I think I would have rather seen bowling ball launchers than projectiles, but that's just being super picky. So if you're looking for that almighty vehicle for Rise Turtles, the turtle tank is the way to go. And a single ride with the shell hog is also good too. Amazing, Barry Squirrel. You made it through the whole review without getting hit. Eh, it's what I do. I used to spend many years on college campuses working through traffic situations for eight... Ugh, ugh. Oh, never mind. Nickelodeon Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Playmates Toys are on store shelves Fall 2018. The Turtle Tank runs approximately $35 while the Shell Hogs run $20 each vehicle a perfect match for your Rise Turtle figures. And with Donnie's mobile lab, who knows what scientific feats he can accomplish inside. Have fun with your turtle vehicles and make sure they're registered with the proper DMV licensing. That's what I have to say about that. The Squirrel Tank was such a ferocious vehicle, it was banned from parking in trees. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. Amazing, Donnie. I like how you reused spatulas as foot pedals. You have to be creative when building in the sewers.